Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan, thank you so much for stopping by today. In my recent 2021-2022 curriculum plan videos, I had lots of questions about the Apologia Biology curriculum that we are using for my eighth grader and my 10th grader this year. I thought I would sit down and share with you all a little bit of a flip through and show you what the program looks like. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to put them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them. So the program comes with these two books. It is a textbook and a student notebook. This program really works to help kids be quite independent. I was really, really impressed when I looked through the student notebook. It gives you parent notes, rubric for grading, grade recording charts, student notes, and then it talks about taking effective notes from science texts and it suggests a daily schedule for how to complete this program in a standard 36 week school year. It goes through the modules and then at the back it has the lab reports needed for the labs in the program. And then this talks to the students about the course, what it's gonna be like, the lab equipment needed, how to take effective notes. It gives them an example of how to use these note pages that are later in the book. And then they have a suggested daily schedule. Now we do a four day school week and this runs on a five day, but I love how it has a box at the top to check off to work through each one. So even though we would only do these days in a school week, the kids can start up this for day one for the next week and just check it off as they go. This goes through all the weeks of the entire school year. Then it starts in with the note taking pages. And there's a page for each day's assignments that it gives the kids to read. And then there are the on your own questions, which are short answer questions reviewing what they read in the text. And these are pointed out right here, the on your own, on each day that there's going to be some review questions to work through. So it goes through these review questions, goes through working on a study guide. These are the terms and definitions, different important things that they feel they really truly need to understand. And some more short answer in their study guide for module one, and then it starts module two. The whole entire student notebook works this way and it's set up really well to foster independence and really help the kids take ownership of their program. The textbook is a big, big textbook, as you would expect. It is really clearly laid out. It has instructional support, so it gives resources through Apologia to help kids who might need more or might learn differently than reading from a text. We have the table of contents, and it does a great job of breaking things down into even the really small topics so that kids can flip back easily and find where they learned that. In this course, they're covering the science of life for module one, the chemistry of life for module two, ecology for module three, cell structure and function in module four, cellular energy in module five, DNA, proteins, and the cell cycle in module six, genetics in module seven, evolution in module eight. The evolution unit does cover the different evolutionary theories and looks into fossils and the geological, the geological records. And it discusses macro evolution and micro evolution. Then module nine is prokaryotes and viruses. Protists and fungi plant diversity and reproduction, plant structure and function in module 12. Module 13 is animals, invertebrates part one. Module 14 is animals, invertebrates part two. 15 is animals, chordates part one. 16 is chordates part two. And then it kicks off into the modules for reading. 
Every day in that student guide, there is a reading assignment that is clearly laid out in here. It makes good logical sense as far as the stop and start of things. They do a great job of really highlighting those key terms, filling out the definitions. They're still pretty colorful and relevant. They're not, you know, really dry like a lot of upper level programs can be. And that is about how the whole program progresses. It's laid out in that same way, which I feel like is really predictable and intuitive. And the textbook and the student notebook absolutely both are key to this program. I can't imagine doing this program without the student notebook. And I feel like it goes so much further in helping the kids really work toward the more collegiate level of work where they're much more independent and reliant on themselves without a parent or a professor looking over their shoulder and really requiring good quality work. It's sort of the stepping stones to walk them into that process of doing it for yourself, being responsible for yourself. This program does teach from a creationist perspective, so that's something to note. Uh, at this upper level, I am 100% okay with my older kids learning in detail the evolutionary theories so that they can understand what else is out there and really get a good grasp on those things. Because for us as creationists ourselves, it's really important for kids to not just blindly believe what they're told. They need to understand what else is out there so that if nothing else, they can defend their own beliefs by understanding in great detail what someone else who may oppose them might believe. If you have any questions about any of this content, I would be happy to answer them. Feel free to put them in the comment section below. If you would like to see anything more in detail on any of these modules or how they present any of the information that is listed, let me know, I'm happy to show that as well. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it if you think anyone might find it useful, and subscribe to hang out for more. We'll see you again soon.